Alright, so first things first, we're going to go to the Oculus.com setup. We're going to get the PC app. Might run into a few problems, but that's what this video is also about. Alright, so this is important. Location has to be on your C drive. Can't change it. You just click install. So here says an Oculus account. So let's just try this actually. What is my Oculus account? Hmm. I'm logging in with my Oculus account to see if we actually need a Facebook account or not. Choose the default download location for Oculus Store. So this is important. This is your default location, C program files. We're gonna change that. We're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna put this in my games hard drive. I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this Oculus Games. Double click on that folder, click select folder, continue. Uh, we'll skip that. Oculus now powered by Facebook. Enhance your experience with a Facebook account. You can log in with a Facebook account to enjoy additional features and a more seamless experience across Facebook products. Join virtual events, share VR content, play multiplayer games, connect with people, control. Hmm. So it's telling you that you should to like get more features from the quest. They should use a Facebook account, but a lot of people didn't like the fact that you had to connect it to a Facebook account. So we're going to continue without doing that. What happens if you log in with Facebook? Merging your accounts, your Oculus account will permanently merge with your Facebook account. You will need to log in with this Facebook account on all your Oculus devices. Only one account and one Facebook account can be merged. What happens if you don't log in with Facebook? You can continue logging in with your Oculus account, but you will not have access to social features. As we develop new features, this will not be available to you from Twitter. Wow, 1st of January 23. We will end support for Oculus accounts. Oh, wow. So next year, you will need a Facebook account, okay? To access full functionality on the Oculus platform. We're going to continue with Oculus though. I don't have any friends anyway, so I'm not bothered about social features. Confirm. I think you can still you can still link it up at a later date. So select my quest two. All right, air link. Right, this is going to be important now. All right, continue. Start using air link. Put on your headset and turn on air link in settings. Right, before I do that, I need to put the music back on. Somebody just subscribed. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Thank you very much for subscribing. Ah, oh, the chatbot. Thank you, Streamlabs chatbot. Appreciate the sub. All right, before I continue, we're just going to... All right, let's just turn that back down now, though. Just so we've got a little bit of a background audio. Won't be able to see the chat for a bit, but we're going to now just enable Air Link on the Quest 2 to continue the Air Link setup process. All right, so this is important as well. This is now the pairing process. So on your headset, it's going to show that same code. You're just going to click confirm. Pairing code confirm, put your headset back on. And this is as easy as that. I don't know how people have issues because I'm like connected now. Um, so basically there's literally nothing you need to do in the app to set it up here uh, just for future reference though enable allow unknown sources library location so this is where we, what we selected earlier this will now be your location for all future games you install uh, 
set you some streaming music on WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Wait, maybe this is why I shouldn't have logged in with my Oculus app because I should have Beat Saber. It make me pay for it, innit? Which I'm not going to. Oh my gosh. So Beat Saber is actually um, linked to my Facebook. Oh my gosh. Well, at least you know you can log in with the Oculus account, but as it did say by 1st of January 2023, you need to link it to your Facebook account. 